Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, talk to me. Grandma, how you doing? It's me, Carl Kruger. I just got back in town. How come you didn't reverse the charges, scum sucker? Listen, have I got some information for you about that cat burglar, the one that's pulling off all those jewel robberies? Hey, listen, forget it, okay? It's a sissy case. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, he's uh, suspected of shooting a cop. There's a cat burglar who shot a cop? Now I'm mildly enraged. I get some important information for you, and, uh, well, for some serious money, I'll, uh, I'll share it with you. Just get me the information. Not here. How you doing? Get out of here. Uh, I'll tell you what, meet me at the, uh, uh Folorama. Yeah, Folorama. Where's Krugel? He likes to keep a low profile ever since he was romantically linked with Joan Rivers. Be the instructions. Ow! Cow! Whoa! Ow! That must hurt. Ooh. Fine sense of deduction, Toro. Of course it hurts. Wow! What does it say? What's that nail? Mm. Don't lean on the ball return. Put money in a hole of this bowling ball, then roll it down the gutter. I'll send back with information hidden in the hole. bowling ball just like that. But that's for girls. How'd you get your thumb stuck in it? Don't you have dishes to do or something? Come on, Norman, get this off me. Sure, I'll just cut off your thumb. Look, there's important information in there. Now get it off me. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm really sorry that these robberies have caused you so much embarrassment, Commissioner. Uh, I wouldn't care so much, except three of the victims are friends of my wife. And she's, she's making my life miserable. Captain Trunk, I want results now. Commissioner, this is Inspector Hammer. He's working on the case. Another of our officers got very, very close. 
But the cat burglar shot him. I promise you, we will do better next time. Hammer, what do you have behind your back? What? Oh, the bowling ball. The, well, actually, there's a very simple explanation. Yeah, he's found a new way to harm others. Actually, Captain, it happened during the investigation of the cat burglary. This is the man put on the case. Good. I expect significant results. Sir, I'm going to find the guy. And I'm going to hurt him. Sledge, this lubricant ought to do the trick. What, butter? No, it's margarine. It's higher in polyunsaturated fat. Where'd you learn this embalming school? <laughs> oh, 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 Darrell, quit fooling around, will you? Oh, uh, oh. Sorry. Oh, message. Oh. Hammer, the cat burglar was a famous second story man from England, reported by persons unknown to rip off all the wealthy people in town. Oh. Yeah, Scotland Yard, this is Inspector Sledgehammer from one of the countries you lost. I need some information. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I need the identity of a cat burglar who might be working on the West Coast. Ah! Oh. In real, at arm, dangerous, goes to shoot up. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes, absolutely, and nice talking to you. All I could get out of him was Henry Ill, whatever that means. Well, the inspector obviously had a Cockney accent. He meant Henry Hill. Very impressive linguistic skills, Daryl. Danke schön. Ne dada. Excuse me. The friends of Commissioner Holbestam's wife are here. Uh. Oh, the ones who had their jewelry stolen. Right, and they're very upset. Well, don't worry. I'll take care of it. I'll have a nice, sensitive talk with the broads. This is Inspector Hammer and Detective Daryl. Hammer, look at their hairdos. Is their housing projects. All right, ladies, I heard about your missing jewelry, and I just want to say, tough cookies. Hammer! Hey, people are starving all over the world, and you're in here whining about missing baubles. Hammer. I mean, tacky, tacky, what? These women came here to get consoled, not be raided. Hey, my thumb is killing me. You don't hear me complaining. All right, now get out of here before I arrest you for conspicuous consumption. Excuse me. Uh, this may sound inappropriate, but where do you get your hair done? Oh, well, at uh, the Duke of Curl. It's a unisex shop. Ask for Sir Guy. I recommend him highly. <laughs> Thank you. Wait a minute, Darrow. You don't want to look like that. Your head isn't big enough to support that kind of weight. I've been doing some checking into these robberies. All of them took place in the morning when these women were getting their hair done. So while they were being washed and permed, they were also being clipped. Someone must have been casing their places to know when their appointments were. Yeah. It's me, Pinhead. Look, I got some more information for you on that cat burglar. But this time, I want you to meet me at an archery contest. <laughs> you weasel. I don't want any more of your dumb, elaborate, expensive ideas, you understand? I want something simple and cheap. Like the $25 bus stop idea, okay? Yeah. Only this time, it's gonna cost you $50. What? Why? I had to raise it. They're killing me. The new tax law cut my deductions in half. Hammer?
pervert. Help! Help! Just help! Oh, hey, for... I'm the one that needs the help, lady. Help! Help! Bam, bam, it's help. all right. I'm a police officer. You don't have to stay. I'll apprehend him. There's a gun sale at the mall. The message! Cat burglar's next victim is a Felicia Waterhouse. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. Perfect. We'll nail him then. Yeah, well, we better, because I'm getting tired of this child's play. I want to get back to fun and games, like dealing with death. Right, that's a 10-4. One of our units just confirmed that Mrs. Waterhouse's car is at the beauty parlor. Well, what do you know? Let's go. are moving. He's trying to say something. Did you think they think I'll make it to heaven? No way in the world. You must be. You must be, you must be kidding. It's. Well, there's only one of these. Even though Ghost of Reddy was in real. He says the description fits ill. I mean, Hill. Are you sure? He described him perfectly, except for the tire tracks on his chest. Find out if Hill worked alone. Um, did Hill, or did Ill ever work alone? Ha, 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 ha. Work alone. No, 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 he never worked alone, no. Never worked alone. Why can't the English learn to speak like us Americans? Got an idea. Well, now you're starting to think like a man. Why don't you get your hair done? You disappoint me, Duro. I'm a nihilist, not a stylist. Hammer, all the women were at Sir Guy's salon when their mansions were being robbed. What does that tell you? Yeah, that despite their stupid hairdos, they still look homely. No! Well, what? Sir Guy had something to do with the robberies. Well, why don't you go there and try and draw him out? Why don't you go? Those roots of yours could use a little touching up. Ooh. Maybe I will go. Go ahead. Do my hair. <laughs> the problem, Thatcher, is that your hair has no concept. What do you mean, no concept? Well, in that it doesn't really fit the shape of your head. So, how did you come to find me? Oh, uh, by car. Yes. <laughs> well, did someone refer you? Only a bloody bloke named... Ill. Ill. Henry Ill. Henry Ill. Renee, darling, you look lovely. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> most unfortunate about Henry. Yes. Well, I suppose we'll just have to carry on without him. Carry on. His vocation and mine were the same. Really? Really. Yes, well, the uh, jewel trade can be most lucrative. It ain't exactly crumpets. You might leave your home address with me before you leave. Oh, I might, might I? Yes. I'd like to put you on my mailing list so I can send you some free samples of astringent. <laughs> How generous. 
Well, anything for a fellow countryman. Thanks. Right, right. God save the king. Queen. Don't confuse me. If I catch him, he's gonna be Sir Dead Guy. I was in the neighborhood, thought I'd visit your flat. Oh. <laughs> How do you like your concept? The only concept I hate worse is gun control. Hmm, perhaps I've overmoosed you. All right. As you may know, our friend Henry worked with me and someone else who shall remain neighbors. Oh, must be tough, huh? Going through your whole life without a name. We'd like you to work for us. Really? We want you to break into the home of a customer while she's at my shop. Oh, sort of a rinse and rub job, eh? Who might that customer be? A Mrs. Morgan Olberston. The wife of the police commissioner. Let me think about it. I'll ring you up in the morning. Very good. Very, very good. Cheerio. Rice Krispie. It's a very simple plan, sir. Well, if you thought of it, it's got to be simple at best. Well, let's hear it. You give us your jewels. Let your wife keep her appointment at the beauty parlor, and then later Hammer will tell Sir Guy that he stole the jewels. But before I give them to him, I'm going to tell him I want to meet the brains behind the operation. Well, let's do it and finally crack this case. All right. Good work, Doro. Hammer. Bad haircut. Very bad. Sir Guy, Thatcher here. I've decided I'd like to do some second story work. Have you done this before? Well, I usually break through the front door, but that's another story. Yes, but you see, I insist to, that I accompany you. What? No, no, actually, no. Uh, that won't be necessary. I, uh, I work without a net, so I wouldn't. Very good. But you see, I like to break in. Break in, men. Meet me at the Holberston Mansion at half past. All right, half past. Half past what? Inspector Hammer, these are the Holdeston jewels. Yeah, well, uh, we ran into a little snag. You see, Sir Guy wants to see me in action. He would. A little snag? You've never broken into a house before. Yeah, well, before I shot a man, I never shot a man. So what does that prove? Trust me. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> Better back you up. It is I, Sir Guy. Mrs. Hoveston has arrived for her appointment. Tell her I'm tied up in traffic and to please wait. This is a nightmare.
They're not well barefoot in here, huh? Surprised that you're behind this? No, any dimwit could figure that out. Well, then how did you? Easy. The police commissioner can't afford a big mansion and expensive jewels unless he's on the take. Or unless he finds a lot of change in his couch cushions. Too bad you won't be alive to tell this to anyone. On my command, my dog will rip you to shreds. You see, it's all been well thought out from the beginning. Including sucking you in, sucker. Tear him up! My dog. Oh, your dog is all right. But not for long. 